Hey everyone, Mike at Northwest Bus Sales here. Uh, today we have a 2003 Chevy Bluebird Microbird 30 passenger, little type A school bus. This thing's uh, a little cute bus. It'll be great for a uh, motorhome conversion or for a work vehicle or if you have a daycare or something like that. Uh, it's a really nice clean bus. Well, let's check it out. As you can see it uh, used to be number 45 but under the hood we've got a I like this motor it's a six liter Vortec V8 a lot of power in these things I like them uh, being a Washington school bus it does not have AC so uh, but nothing too bad to deal with here in Washington State you can put the windows down and for the most part that'll get you by but not having AC, if you're a DIY person, you can really access the engine a lot easier. Less stuff up front. And, but yeah, very clean, very clean. Dual post battery. So unlike most Chevy batteries that have the side posts that are hard to get to if you ever do you have to jump it. Yeah, this, Chevy. yeah, I don't know what they were thinking on that design, but that's the only bad part about those side post batteries. But this one has a dual post. So if you have more accessories to hook up or you need ever need to jump it, a lot easier. Moving on, that, those tires in this thing are excellent. They, as uh, Eric would say, they look pert near new. <laughs> Got good siping on them. Very good tires, they all match. Very nice, mirrors are all sturdy on there. Um, well, let's go ahead and step. It's a 3,500 chassis, so 12,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating. Uh, Eric's behind the camera here. He'll show you the floor is nice and solid. Treads, treads in good shape. We're checking out the radio. It's got a cassette player. Dude, cassette and all that. Yeah, less. if you have like you know those old Ace of Base cassettes from the from the from the 90s or some Credence, uh, you can revive those. Uh, checking out the miles, we're just under 180,000, 179,000. Dude, look at the driver's seat upholstery. How 86. about it? Yeah, that is brand new upholstery on that driver's seat. It's it's like sitting on a Cadillac, you know, sitting on the Cadillac seat here. I almost feel kind of bad sitting on it. It's so new. But yeah, it's very comfortable. Steering wheel, a little bit of wear and tear on the steering wheel. I'll point that out there. Um, but other than that, it's very clean. You know, this bus has been idling here for a while. The gauges read normal. Temperature, oil pressure reads good. Again, 179,686 miles. Tow haul mode. Uh, no trailer hitch, but uh, nice feature to have if you put a lot of weight in the bus or end up modifying and putting a hitch on it. Uh, Eric here showing the switch panel here. Door switch. Which luckily works. Uh -huh. Nah. Uh -huh. uh, one really cool feature about this bus, which I just love on these shuttle buses and, and small school buses, or any bus in general, really, power mirrors, and these work. Um, you've got upper and lower mirrors, you know, your, your uh, wide view and your long distance mirrors. So, very nice feature. You don't have to get out and move it a little bit and jump back in and move it a little more. and, 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 and it's just a nice, uh, makes it nice and easy. Uh, looking at the front and the interior, the rest of the interior is in pretty good shape. Ceiling. Eric, show you the, get the little cubby up there. Yeah, move this panel too. And like Eric said, fuse panel back there. Up. Oh, there we go. Hold up. There we go. That's how there you access yeah. all fuses and whatnot. Yeah. Here we go. Moving through the bus here, we have uh, seat belts, three per seat. If you want to fit three kids on here per seat, it'll be a 30 passenger. Uh, all the seats are in nice shape. I don't see any, any cuts or tears. Hey, really, about? yeah, this is 2003 and it's been kept up nice. Floors feel solid. Mm -hmm. Again, the the tread steps and all that and the glass in good shape. Yeah. It's not tinted. Huh. Yeah, non-tinted windows. The glass is in great shape. Eric give you a nice side shot of the bus there. Bluebird, microbird. Check out 
the rear tires. Yes, sir, the drive tires on this. Again, all six are matching, great shape. Underside of the bus. It's this, this bus is a, came from a local Seattle area school district, so um, no rust. It's not been driven on salty roads. Um, it's been fleet maintained at school district. You know, you can't get much better than school district maintenance. Be sure you show them that WSB sticker when we get around front. Yeah, this bus has been uh, Washington State Patrol inspected, certified. So it's got a sticker on the windshield 20, from 2019. So last year's school district, or last year's school year. So uh, one thing to point out, it's got a little bit of a wow in the bumper, a little slight. You know, you probably wouldn't notice it really, but uh, the rear buzzer definitely works. Yeah, that buzzer we all it sounds angry when you open the door. But, toolbox. yep, little toolbox back there. You know, if you're going to do a motorhome conversion on a bus like this or a work vehicle conversion, just disconnect that alarm and you've got nice easy access to the back of the bus, loading tools in, loading items in, or another entry if you're going to make a motorhome out of it. Um, let's see, the other side, what else can we point out about this bus? It's, in, it's really straight. I don't really see any body damage on this bus, other than that bumper, a little bit of wow in the bumper. 35 gallon. Yeah, 35 gallon gas tank, unleaded. Nice shot underneath again. Very clean, very straight, rust free. Which is typical of the Northwest here. Eric, give you a shot again of that freshly recovered driver's seat and leather. That thing is nice. Another shot, close shot of the dash. You can see the gauges are all reading nice, normal. Real nice. And one thing to point out, here's that uh, inspection sticker from State Patrol from 2019. So that's a pretty rigorous test if you're not familiar with it. Yeah. They really put the bus through its paces and do a pretty detailed inspection as well to make sure, it, make sure it passes that. And yeah, it's been recently, in, so that means it's been recently in service. Anyways, uh, that's about it for this bus. Again, very clean, sounds good, runs smooth. I don't hear any kind of uh, noises that worry me at all. Smooth, quiet engine. Sounds like a sewing machine. Uh, if you have any questions, definitely feel free to give us a call. 800-231-7099 uh, uh, or email at sales at nwbus.com. This is Mike at Northwest Bus Sales. Thanks for watching. Yeah.